Hey guys, it's time for this month's animal symbolism video. This month's animal is actually two, the frog and the toad. A lot of associations here again, so don't expect this to be a comprehensive list, as I'm not a fully fledged expert, and I don't have the hours and hours and hours it would take, though this one has taken me a long time to work out what I want to say in it. One of the most common associations with frogs and toads is rain, which is a pretty simple origin, all things said and done, as you see a lot more of both animals during or just after rain, due to the conditions being good for them in several ways, including to mate. This association is prevalent in many parts of pop culture, including the video games Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together, where frog rain, a phenomenon that occurs in real life where frogs rain down from the sky, happens and is the bane of many a player's life for a day or so. Fertility is another common symbolic link with frogs and toads, due in large part to their associations with rain. This is because rain is notably connected to the farming season, which people have traditionally needed to know about so that they can make best use of their farmlands to get food for themselves and their families. Frogs often arrive with the start of the rainy season and are able to sense atmospheric conditions that humans can't making them very reliable indicators of the rain, which then leads onto the next symbolic link, which is prosperity. Prosperity is again linking back into all of these as, well, you tend to be pretty prosperous if your farming goes well. And well, frogs being a reliable indicator of said fertility and prosper, prosper that it all leads together if you see where I'm going. Frogs and toads are also very notably linked to change and adaptability. Now this is because they've got this lifespan with specific forms where they metamorphose to walk from one to the other, but like this is most shown in pop culture through Homestuck. Big secret universe thing is a frog. You make frogs, you breed frogs to make a universe. That's just the way that it goes. But there's all sorts of stuff to do with that. And that links into prosperity, fertility, and change in adaptability, really. So it all works together. These have all been notably pretty positive associations up until this point. But, well, there's some negative ones as well. Most positive links are more associated with frogs and more negative ones are associated with toads and they're not that different really. But whatever, we'll go with it. Toads are pretty linked to plague. Now this is probably mainly because they're not the most pleasant creatures to look at and they're likely to sort of not be clean or not seem clean to our human eyes. And, uh, well, plague of frogs and toads and stuff happened in the Bible. So, witches and magic are also commonly associated with frogs and toads, and it probably all links back to the previous stuff that we've discussed in the video, and notable ones that uh, are associated in pop culture include Trevor the Toad from uh, Harry Potter and uh, the fact that the witches in Macbeth talk about using bits of frogs and toads to do their magic. Overall, major symbolic associations with frogs and toads include rain, fertility, prosperity, change, plagues and magic. Hopefully this video has given you a bit more clarity on the symbolism of frogs and toads. I'd be really grateful if you'd let me know in the comments down below how you feel I did in this video, whether I did well or missed a lot or anything like that. Let me know down there. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails over there to see other videos by me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!